Saturday, you know. And then- I don't think everyone thinks like that. Unfortunately, you know, it's almost like everyone is for themselves. I right. feel like, in, you know, and I'm not sure if it's a New York City thing. Yeah, um, New York City you know, is. Uh, people are so, very competitive. Yes. Um, yes. And absolutely. not to say they don't want to share, but it's almost like they don't want to tell you what they did. You know, like at my event, someone came up to me. It, it was a photographer for the baby shower. And he said, listen, how did you get your photo booth? You know, I was interested in doing it, but I'm kind of scared, you know, trying to get, you know, a, a big piece of equipment overseas from China. And then, you know, we talked about it. I sent him the information that you shared. And, you know, I didn't think twice about it, but that's just me. Because at the end of the day, you know, if I'm able to help one other person, sure. you know, make that leap, sure. hey, maybe, you know, it'll come back to me times 10. So that's how I think, but unfortunately not everyone thinks that way. So, but I see where you're coming from. <laughs> I, I really, uh, so here's my input is, I think you're right on. I think that different types, you know, different parts of the state, different parts of the planet in general have a different culture, different point of view when it comes to business and, and, and just sportsmanship and all, because business is a sport. And here's the thing. You live in a very, an area that's like you said, you kind of get that vibe. It's just very competitive. It's like, you know, it's, it's all about me. Like, I'm, there's no way on earth I'm going to send business your way. Why would I do that? That's like money that's not in my bank account. You can you can see it that way. And I understand why you're seeing it this way. But check this out. When I moved out here to San Bernardino, there was people that have been in the game longer than I have. So but what I did was this. I put my heart out there and I opened up this channel. I opened up this frequency, meaning I I, I wanted to do something different. So what I did is I started reaching out. To everyone that had already a business here, a 360 booth business, I introduced myself. I told mm-hmm. them what I did, and so when I let my guard down, and when I showed them like, "Hey, if there's anything that I can do in the future to kind of help you with your business," I basically told them like, "Yes, we might be competitors, but at the same time, we share a very similar dream and we provide a very unique service, and that's to make as many people as happy as possible, so that they can have those memories for the rest of their lives." And what I ended up doing was I ended up connecting with individuals who had a similar heart and maybe didn't want to come out and and say like, oh, I'm here to help you out. But because I put myself and I was transparent, I I can tell you that if I wouldn't have done that, I would not have had the type of network I have now because I wouldn't have put that flag out there like, hey, this is me. Um, This is what I stand for. You guys might like me. You guys probably see me as a threat or you guys can see me as a backup, as a homie. And we we can we can uh, we can network and yeah, generate man. business together. So I guess what I'm trying to say is yes, I understand that business is competitive and maybe not everyone has that mentality. But you won't know until you put yourself right. out there and give people the opportunity to work with you because there might be individuals who have similar values than you do, but you wouldn't know unless you go out there and you put yourself out there. So that's how I was able to meet with uh, business owners and seasoned 360 booth operators. And ever since then, I I've been sending business their way. And there's been times where um, they send business my way and I actually book those clients. And we never ask each other for, hey, you know, I'll send you someone. But, you know, if you can give me a hundred dollars, like a finder's, none of that shit. So it's like mm-hmm. it's, it's straight up like I can't do it, bro. I hope it's a good match for you, man. Here's her information she needs, you know, for these hours. And then I'll give them the information and be like, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Cool, man. Boom. And then sometimes a client will reach out to me like, hey, thank you for the referral. I was able to book. I appreciate you. It's, it, and this is like this is about helping people. So try to kind of shift your mind a little bit and be a little bit more uh, daring to kind of like step out of that place where, right. you know, let me set my frequency. Let me open up my channel and see who I can gravitate towards and who can gravitate towards me because this is my frequency. This is what I stand for. And trust me, there's going to be people with similar minds, similar hearts, and, and you'll start networking with them. And then you're going to realize I'm glad I was transparent. I put myself out there because I just got a booking from that person that I took the time to introduce myself to and talk to about business. Okay. So, there you have it. So, but yeah, I know New York, Brooklyn is a tough, tough, tough <laughs> city. It's like super tough. It definitely right? is. And there's not a lot of female photo booth operators, yeah. uh, that I've you. Kn- you know, so I got to represent for the women out there that are trying to, you know, jump into a field like this. Yeah, I, I, I really, really love that about you. Uh, seriously, like everything you shared with me too is very, very inspirational, especially like like you said, you're in a, in a rough city. You're doing this solo. And just everything that you shared with me is like, to me, it, it, it stirs up that that uh, that excitement. Because uh, believe it or not, for me, it's like 
I do so much, so much things. I feel like I'm on autopilot, but when I really have time with like one individual and I really get to like know about them and their, and their struggles and their point of view, it, it stirs up something in me. And it's like, I always, every time I get off a one-on-one, I, I'm just very happy for the rest of the day. Cause it's like, I was able to connect someone at a, at a deep level and I just sur- surface conversation. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. All right. Now I've now, now I feel like, okay, we, we can get off now. Uh, <laughs> I shared as much as I could. Give Thank you. Some you. Of the questions you, you asked me. Yeah. And I definitely, you know, uh, off topic, I definitely want to send my condolences to you. You know, I, I recently lost my mother, so I definitely understand what you're going through. Yeah. Um, and I'm just using this also to motivate myself because I know my mom would be pushing me and be like, you can do this, Sigrid. So I'm also, you know, using her as a driving force to help me, you know, push myself to get this done. And I'm like, I know I'm doing this for my mother. I know she would want to see me succeed in this. Amen. Same here. I say same here. So, yeah, you're absolutely right. I think we can use it as a guide, as a drive and as a reminder that our parents energy still resides and it's still flowing and this is mm-hmm. this this is one of the few ways we can show them like hey i know you have my back and i know that i'm going to move forward and i'm going to i'm going to take a leap of faith because if i fall i'm going to fall you know in your arms so I, i'm the same way with you like i get really uh lonely sometimes and 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 sad and i don't like uh i don't like going there uh because i i i can i can really like soak up something that is sad or I can really soak up something that's like, that, that's like motivation. It's just, I'm, I'm an extremist that way. But at mm-hmm. the end, you're right. It's like our, our moms are continuously like by us because we are a piece of them. We were born, we came from them. So no matter what, we still hold them dearly in our DNA, in our body, in our spirit. So I second that. And, and, I'm, and I'm glad you see life that way. And I think that's why you decided to go into this industry because you realize that, there's a unique, uh, it takes a unique set of skills and point of view to have a successful business. And everything you shared with me is like, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to probably be in a situation really soon where you're going to have more work than you can handle. Uh, speaking that into existence from your Amen. mouth to God's ears. I hope so. Amen. Well, other than that, it was a pleasure meeting you. It um, was definitely again. Thank you so much for taking the time out. I will definitely keep you updated, and I'm gonna send you the picture. I, you know, I'll set up the photo booth at home so I can take some pictures for you. Yeah, and then as far as the lighting goes on that the the one you did during the evening, uh, at the first event that you had, were you using uh, a U200 light, RGB light? What were you using for the lighting? So, literally, the space was so small, I didn't have enough space to even add the lighting. Like they had me in a small little corner of the lounge and I was like, it's kind of dark here. And then, you know, the birthday person was like, don't worry, I'm not turning off the lights. So I just literally had the, um, the light from the photo booth, the, the one that came with the ring light, the one that came with it. No, the one that you recommended. You, the, the U200. U200? Yep. U200. U200. Okay. All right. All right. But All right. I felt like it wasn't enough. I wanted to use the portable lights because it was kind of dark. You know, the walls were painted black. So it was, I, I felt like there wasn't enough light focused on the people on the booth but again i had limited space but i know now share that point of view with your your future uh clients let them know that uh you know you do have rgb lights and i don't know you have three or four how many do you have i have three you have three tell them like i have three rgb lights uh these lights are gonna help the production come out even better because it's gonna bring out the colors in your your clothing it's just gonna Mm -hmm. add a glamour to it uh, so I'll always kind of like get them excited over the phone and then they'll book with you and then you bring your equipment and you, you deliver on what you said. So, um, okay. yeah, def- definitely. I, I think if you would have included those three RGB lights, it would have uh, looked better. The quality would have looked probably 20, 25 percent uh, better. Uh, trust me, because because I, I know how much of a difference it makes and you don't have to always set them up as at their maximum brightness as well. So just just that. continue to experiment. I'm going to continue to put out videos and show you guys what I'm learning with my journey. And um, I want to thank you for your time. And I hope you have an incredible weekend. You as well. Thank you again. All right. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.